Just a minute, Mrs. Wayne. We must do this properly. Oh, Sam, you're an idiot. <laughs> Carry him over the threshold. That's what the book says. And what does it say the bride's supposed to do? It says leave it to the woman's intuition. What a tactful book. How's that for intuition? Very satisfactory. <laughs> this way, Mrs. Wayne. It's all yours. Doctor! Hello, Kate. Hello. Hello, Miss Vera. Oh, I'm Mrs. Wayne. You can call me anything you want, Kate. You know, you're the real reason I married the doctor. That's right. And I don't blame her. You're the best cook in America. And he isn't teasing. He's flattering. Thank you, Kate. I'll have to watch out for that. I have a very nice supper for you whenever you're ready. Wonderful. Good. I'm famished. I'll bring in the bags. I can tell you had a grand honeymoon, Mrs. Wayne. But when he's happy, he's hungry. Hmm. One more trip, darling. What did I do? Those chimes. The clock doesn't work, but sort of a habit of Julie's. Every time she went by, she... Darling, don't let it upset you. Forget it. How can I forget that this is Julie's house? Julie's housekeeper, Julie's husband. Vera, we've gone all through this. This was my house. My family's house. Kate was our housekeeper long before I'd married Julie. I'm sorry. I am acting like an idiot. It's just that I had no idea how much everything would remind me of her. I know, darling. I know. Why do you think I locked up and got out of here after... after it happened? Of course. I understand. I'm being very selfish. Facts can be brutal, Vera. But we must face them. Julie is dead. You must stop brooding over it. But how can I help it when everything in this house is hers? Change it, darling. Change it any way you want. But I can't change the lake where it happened. Stop it, Vera. Stop it. Get a hold of yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Darling, just remember one thing. Remember all the time you are my wife. And I love you. Do you? Do you? Sounded like someone screaming. Screaming? Yeah. What is it? Seems to be coming from the lake. I've got a pretty good idea. Here's the culprit. You remember Claire. It's Julie's cat. Where did it come from? We're staying with a friend of mine across the lake, Roberta Lawrence. I don't think you know her. Claire must have sensed I was coming home and came all the way back alone. <laughs> She's quite a cat. Isn't she, Beauty? I never heard her screaming. Oh, she only does that when she feels she's been neglected. 
So you've missed me, eh, beautiful? <laughs> yeah, you two should get together. Well, I, I, I don't think she's too friendly. Oh, sure. You just have to get acquainted. <coughs> you see? She thinks I'm an intruder. Oh, nonsense. You're just imagining things. I'm not imagining the lake, am I? Or Julie drowning? Darling, will you please stop torturing yourself? It's not your fault you can't swim. And it certainly wasn't your fault that Julie got a cramp. You ran for help. What more could you have done? But I keep seeing it. I dream about it. Oh, darling. Darling, your hands are ice cold. I'm going to get you some hot tea and a sedative. You get under those covers and stay there. Is this what happens when you marry a doctor? He just bullies you all the time. It looks much better that way. Oh, I wasn't going to take it down. I just wanted to try something. Oh, no, really? It looked good. See there? You want to know something? It's you who looks good. Oh? Uh -huh. A bit too good. Those women patients of yours, I'm jealous. You should see them. Fat and 50. All of them? All of them. And those nurses at the hospital? Young and beautiful. All of them? All of them. But you have nothing to worry about, darling, because... They don't even know I'm alive. They will this morning. Wait till you see what I have for you. Oh? But it was there. I put it there. What was? It was a boutonniere I made for you. There's your criminal. Oh. Cheer up, darling. <laughs> Think of the fun Clarence having. Get busy and make me another one. Good morning, Mrs. Wayne. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Kate. Lovely day, isn't it? Beautiful. Hotcakes? Of course, Doctor. With those little sausages. Oh, good. Well, now that's even prettier than the other one. What a liar. You never even saw the other one. <laughs> that for those beautiful nurses. Now, if you don't mind, I'm hungry. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. Kate, this closet is locked. Oh, yes, it is, Mrs. Wayne. May I have the key? Oh, certainly, of course, Mrs. Wayne. This one. Thank you. Oh, what is the matter, Claire? Do you want your lunch? With me, she's so unfriendly. Almost as if she resents me. Oh, no, Mrs. Wayne. She's just playing hard to get. Pretty soon, she'll grow to like you. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Kate, I wish you'd tell me something. Yes, Miss Wayne? Probably sounds funny my asking it, but... do you think Dr. Wayne is as happy as he used to be? Oh, you just be happy, Mrs. Wayne. Don't keep doubting yourself. For if you're happy, the doctor, well, he'll be happier than he ever was. things in this closet. Of course not. She was very lovely, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Even at school, we all envied her. If you didn't come back here, how did it get into the closet? I telephoned Kate to put it away. But why? That wasn't necessary. No, I suppose it wasn't. I just figured it might be an unhappy reminder. You thought I'd make a scene? No, of course I didn't. It just seemed like the thing to do, that's all. You 
think I'm a neurotic fool, don't you? You know what I think? I think you've been working too hard. As a matter of fact, that's why I came home early today. So we could be together. Get out in that sun and get drunk on that wonderful fresh air. You're very sweet. Between you and me, I, I'm a neurotic fool. Turn to the right, just a little bit, darling. Now, that's it, that's it, hold it. That's exactly it, perfect. Now, hold it real still. Don't move now. <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the road. Why don't you take a swim while the sun's still warm? I like it here. Anyway, it's no fun swimming alone. Oh, go ahead. I'll just sit here and envy you. Hey, I've got a better idea. I'll teach you right now. Oh, no, you won't. Come on, why not? Because it can't be done, believe me. It's been tried by experts. Maybe they tried the wrong way. Oh, no, they didn't. It's just that I have a phobia about deep water. It scares the daylights out of me. You wouldn't be scared with me, not, not if I started you in shallow water. Oh, yes, I would. Besides, I'm not in a swimsuit. What's wrong with that man trap you're wearing? Come on, mermaid, let's give it a try. Oh, oh, no, no! No, Sam, don't, oh. don't! Just relax. But I can't, I can't, I'm terrified! Relax, Angel. All right. All right, there's some other time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stan, let's get out of here. How do you like our new look? Oh, I think it's beautiful, Mrs. Wayne. Just what this house needed. You don't think I changed it too much? No. I still say what I said the other day, ma'am. Don't keep doubting yourself. Sorry I'm late, darling. I don't think I'll have time to eat breakfast. Oh, that's too bad. Aren't you going to say anything? I mean, about the way the house looks? I think you should have been an interior decorator. I think it's great. Just like I said last night. Oh, but this is the first time you've seen it in the daylight. Well, I like it. I like it very much. I think you've done a swell job. It's almost like a different place. You think it's too different? Look, how many times do I have to tell you I like it? I wish I'd left it alone, just the way Julie had it. Do it, I didn't. It was the cat, Julie's cat. No one is accusing you of anything. I'm late. I've got to go. See you tonight. Stan! Have you finished, Mrs. Wayne? Yes, thank you, Kate. Oh, I'll answer it. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Oh, of course I knew it. You look exactly the way I thought you would, only you're even more attractive. Thank you. <laughs> Won't you come in? Thank you. Oh, uh, you know who I am, don't you? I'm sorry, I... I'm Roberta Lawrence from across the lake. Oh, of course. Stanley told me. You were kind enough to keep the cat while he was away. Oh, I was delighted to have her. I just adore Claire. She's such a doll and so affectionate. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. I'm sorry. This is the first chance I've had to drop by and say hello. Stanley telephoned that Claire got home safely. Well, I call it the new look. Oh, man, it's real cool. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Thank you.
I suppose it would be a shock for someone who knew the house before. Oh, I did get kind of used to it the way it was. It suited poor Julie's personality so well. Don't you agree? Well, I've never really thought about it. <laughs> you and Julie went to school together, didn't you? Yes, we did. We lost track of each other, though, until I came out here. Well, she was very fond of you, you know. I was fond of her. <clears throat> well, I don't blame you for changing things, and I admire your courage. I beg your pardon? You must be awfully brave to live right here where it all happened and... Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't very tactful, was it? That's all right, Mrs. Lawrence. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. Oh, but that reminds me, my recipe. Do you cook? Well, I, I never won any prizes. But this one's real easy and it's Stanley's favorite. Well, doesn't Kate have the recipe? No, you see, that's just the point. I only gave it to Julie, and she always cooked it herself, and... Oh, dear. Well, it wasn't such a good idea anyway. Oh, my goodness, I've got to run along. It was so nice to meet you, Mrs. Wayne. You'll come and see me soon, won't you? I'd like to. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Oh, Hello, Stanley. So nice to see you. <laughs> and Claire, sweetheart. Oh, you are so sweet and so beautiful and so loving. <laughs> Goodbye, Claire. You be a good little girl. Goodbye, you nice people. Goodbye, Roberta. Goodbye. Oh, don't bother, Stanley. Goodbye. What happened to the porcelain cat? It broke. I dropped it. Oh, that's a shame. No, that isn't true. I broke it deliberately. I was upset because you were angry with me when you left. Darling, you shouldn't look so unhappy about it. Whatever you did, I deserved it. Oh, I'm sorry about this morning, honest darling. You've been working your head off fixing this house. Not seeing a soul except me and Kate. We're going to change that. What we'll do is give a big housewarming party. <laughs> Better hurry up, Stan. The guests will be here any minute. I'll be right out. Darling, I just love my dress. It's sensational. You're pretty sensational right now. Oh, you look pretty good yourself. <laughs> Go. My dress. My new dress. Where? Oh, my dress. It's all right, darling. I don't think she harmed it at all. It's fine. You're still going to be the belle of the ball, darling. I just thought I'll have to hurry. Good night, Paul. Good night, Frank, Good night. Roberta. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just wonderful, darling. Couldn't have been better. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, who's that? Mrs. Wayne? May I have the honor of the next dance? Carl, you still here? The party's over. Well, so what? I still want to dance with you. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. My rival. A man who stole a girl I love. That's right, Carl. But remember, you forgave me three hours ago. That's just because I'm big-hearted. When I told you then, I'm telling you now. I never had a chance with Vera. Well, she was stuck on you from the minute Julie introduced you. Look, Carl, I'll get you some coffee. I think maybe uh, you'd better sit down, Carl. No, thank you. I'm leaving. That's what she always told me. I'm going to get that man by hook or by crook. That's exactly what she said.
What's the matter, darling? It what was happened? the cat. It tripped me. Look. You see, she hates me. She hates me. No, she doesn't, darling. What you need is some sleep. Stanley, what did Carl say before he left? When I was getting the coffee, I mean. Oh, just some more of the same. I'll get it, darling. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. Yes, yes, I understand. I'll be over there in about a half hour. Right. What is it? An emergency operation, darling. I'm sorry, dear. I'll be back as soon as I can. You still haven't told me exactly what Carl said. He said you loved me. Is that bad? Swim. She let Julie drown deliberately. Next week, Screen Directors Playhouse welcomes the noted Hollywood director, Stuart Heisler, whose many well-known pictures include Biscuit Eater, Smash Up, and Blue Skies. Mr. Heisler's selection for next week's show is a high-spirited Western story entitled The Brush Roper. It will star one of Hollywood's favorite actors, Walter Brennan. Be sure to join us. Each week at this time, the Eastman Kodak Company invite you to see an outstanding screenplay.